So this should be at least hopefully the last video that you're gonna get from me where the engine is outside the engine and the frame is as bare as it is. I've got a buddy coming over next week and he's gonna help me mount a lot of stuff on the frame. So I'm gonna progress a lot more. As you saw in my last video, I had to do a new center line on this cam. So I brought that up to 98.82 degree intake center line. And then everything else has been done. So I've resealed the entire engine. Every single gasket is new on it. Everything as far as the gaskets go, I did just did RTV on here. Um, a lot of the paper ones, it seems like some builders just talk about how they dry out and crack over time and they've had the best luck with this. So that's all I've done. I know I've had great luck, great luck using it as an oil pan gasket in the past. So every single gasket, even the rear main housing, all done with RTV on there. Heads on here. And um, if you guys ever want like in-depth, at least come in specific information, videos that are actually going in detail, I highly recommend Cutter Up Rob. He does this for a living. He's built hundreds and hundreds of these 6BTs and other Cummins engines, but he gives you a lot of in-depth info and you're getting it from a guy who's not filling you with marketing BS, not trying to sell a product. He's just trying to get you information. So I highly recommend all his videos and, and what he actually has to say. One of the things that he goes over are when he uses ARP 625 studs, like I'm using here, this thing focuses. But he torques these over 10% of what ARP recommends. So in the instructions, they recommend these to 150. So I've torqued these to 165. And that's just what he does. He's not recommending it, but it's worked for him for hundreds and hundreds of engine builds. So with that, I also have my valves lashed already. So this is ready with the new cam in there. And because I'm going to do a hot retorque, instead of 10 and 20 valve lash, I have it at 12 and 22. And what I found, especially the last time I've done this, is when I do a hot retorque, it does sink that head down a little bit more, and it actually goes about two thou deeper. So then once I do a hot retorque, these end up being about 10 and 20. I still go over them all and double check, but that is just what I've found so far doing a hot retorque. But everything's together there, and as far as the injection pump timing, I know I've already talked about this being a low-end grunt type of tow rig crawler. And a lot of guys of what I've seen on the forums who tow with these daily or put millions of miles on these, actually using these as a work truck, 15 and a half degrees is kind of what they've all kind of bounced around. So that's what I have this timed at. This is at timed at 15 and a half degrees. Try that out. I've tried some other ones and I'm excited to try that one out and see how that feels. And then the last thing I need to put on this engine are the injectors themselves and they go right there. I got my injectors from Cutter Up Rob. He is selling these. And these are seven by tens, which is gonna flow extremely similar to the five by 14s for those of you who are familiar with those injectors. And these are a 145 degree spray pattern. So it's not like the Marine 155 or anything, but something I wanna talk about, and this, again, when you're getting new into these engines, if you're not as experienced, this doesn't really come out as obvious to you. And Rob, Cutter Up Rob does have an actual video talking about this and I've seen this on forums throughout the years of people complaining but one kind of marketing tactic that I've seen is a lot of companies sell injectors 12 valves specifically at least that are sold as new Bosch bodies now what's deceiving about that is yes the body is a new Bosch body but they're excluding the actual nozzle and there are a lot of people who use new Bosch bodies are using an aftermarket nozzle a lot of times they're Chinese nozzles and that might not be important or affect anyone who's using this as a drag truck or something that you're just playing around with. But what does happen is when the needle in these nozzles and the nozzle material itself isn't hardened to the same Bosch standard of what they harden theirs to, you get deformation and that's how it seals because the taper of that needle goes down into the taper of the nozzle and that seals off the fuel. And when those materials aren't as hard, it's going to wear improperly, and you'll see some guys talk about idle hazing with, with these injectors and like little tiny fuel issues that aren't going to matter to someone who's just using this as a play toy, but someone who's daily driving their truck and wants it to run as clean and smoke-free as possible, it's going to matter, especially longevity. So that's why I went with Cutter Up Rob. These are genuine Bosch, Bosch nozzles on here, and that's what I'll be throwing in the truck there. So once I get that on... Um, next week, like I said, I'm having a buddy come over because I got all my tube work in. 
So here's all my new tubing that's going on the truck. He's, here are the old long arms. So that's my lower, that's my upper. And then these are my new lowers. They're gonna be run at an angle in there because of the offset of the lower arm on this axle and how it's gonna be. So that's gonna kind of go like that and then to the frame. And then these are my new uppers. So these are gonna go down, clear the body mount, clear the tire for turning and then go up to that arm. And that's kind of where it's going right there. The tube work I have here for the uppers and the lowers are two inch quarter wall. These are the shock hoops I'll be using from the coilovers and these are two inch quarter wall as well. Uh, but once these get mounted up, um, just for the creation of these, they had to do this in two parts, but I have this one inch two quarter inch wall that'll be slipping inside of here. And then once I get that, that made it up, that'll fit in there. I'll weld that up and then get this at the right angle. But the way these tubes are going to work is I'll be cutting these legs down. This is just here for the bending of it, but I'll be cutting these down about here and it'll be a little offset. So once they're in the frame, they're going to be tilted out just a little bit. So that's how those will work. Here's my track bar that I'll be running, which is 1.75 3 8 wall. And this, I'm not gonna be able to show you with one hand, but you've got this hoop, which is gonna fit over this perfectly. Go down here and then match, bolting up right here in the brackets. So next week, hopefully I'll be able to show you some progress and how that actually fits up. Because when I hold it up there, it's perfect. Like it bends around that snout perfectly, goes with the axle perfectly. So I'm very excited about that. And that's where I stand. Um, right now I'm gonna cover this engine up, create some things to weld onto the inside of this frame. So next week when I drop this engine in, hopefully I don't have to pull it back out because everything's gonna be welded on there. Uh, but yeah, that's it.